before racking the balls watching her as they did. She never returned the glance. However, as she thoughtfully looked at the table, anticipating her first shot, I asked her to break because I'm a gentleman, but I regretted it as she sunk the ball into the center pocket. I frowned as she sunk her next two shots as well. I like to play. She smiled as she looked at the cigarette out of the pack I left on the table. I was sweating as I took my turn and scratched my first shot. <sighs> This is really not going I anywhere. It. This isn't going anywhere. There's a lot. It's like, it's, like, it's like reading the first fucking half a chapter of a church of all time. Jesus. All right, all right, all right. Thank you. You guys are so nice to me. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. You're so kind. She moved from one side of the table to the other like a barrel. Gliding from end to end, finally leaning over in front of me, pushing her hips back, aiming and popping the cue ball into the eight ball and singing it for the wind. She brushed against me as she walked by, only slightly, just enough I had to focus my breathing to avoid getting hard. If impolite to get er an erection in public. <laughs> oh wow, you kicked my ass, I said as she lit up a cigarette. Yeah, what do I win? A shot? Okay, sure, Malort, please. Malort, that she requested this quintessential Chicago spirit told me what kind of person she was. She was free-spirited, odd, flamboyant, a little bitter with no inhibition. She didn't give a shit if you wanted whiskey. Like Malort, she probably sometimes tasted like gasoline. It was a drink for people who wanted to get weird. I found my own shot, which had a tendency to bring out the very worst in people, myself included. That's where I'm gonna stop. Yeah.